in 1981, Guernica arrived in Spain. The work's format is monumental, 3.5 per 8 meters on one solid canvas. The fabric composition is linear in the warp threads horizontal and jute in the web threads vertical. Its size makes it a complex piece to conserve and it's particularly fragile when transported. The canvas has an animal glue primer and a white oil-based preparatory layer. The painting's creative process was documented over 10 photographic sessions by Dora Mar. The different sessions show the modifications to the composition. In its early years, the painting toured around numerous exhibitions, 20 years marked by travel and shows that made it the icon it is today. In 1988, the first study of Guernica was published. This work compiled chemical analysis of the constitu constituent materials, technical studies, and a detailed report including a map of alterations and a photographic report. In 2006, a complete X-ray of the work was made. The plate is made up of 26 strips of 3.750 millimeters assembled on the back of the work. From 2011 to 2017, the journey to the head of a Kernika project got underway and is structured in four stages. In 2011, the project got underway with the development of a system which would enable systematic studies to be carried out that were compatible with the painting being on display. It was agreed that we needed a scan of the work in order to carry out studies with visible light, UV and infrared multispectral studies, 3D scanning, thermography, and greater depth in the hyperspectral study of specific areas. To work in situ, a mechanism that would follow up and not interfere with the contemplation of the work when open to the public a mechanism that works in parallel and at an unbreachable safe distance, the possibility of placing light sources together to be moved with sensors. In January 2012, it was placed in front of a Guernica. This phase is stretched from January to May 2012. We worked every day from 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. and throughout Tuesdays, the day of the museum closes, enabling us to avoid closing the room and even allowing visitors to see the automation alongside the work. Given the scope of the work, we try to fully automate the image capturing processes using remote controls and with the option of stopping the system. An information sheet was created for each study. Given the size of the work, some exceeded 24,000 high-resolution images, making the creation of a unique image unworkable and therefore leading the work composing image mosaic and constructing pyramids of different resolutions. To perfect this assembly, we worked via programming with correct logarithms on optical distortion and luminescence. A georeferencing program was also developed on the information data to create maps of alterations. 
This enables us to locate, differentiate, and examine the information by moving around the images using a zoom tool. With visible light, alterations to the pictorial layer can be discerned. Microfissures, cacular, losses, stains, holes, dirtiness, walks, etc. Technical aspects of execution, rapid and vigorous brass strokes, characteristics of Picasso, marks, and splashes. Historical aspects, such as the red paint residues from the act of Andalusia in 1974. Via ultraviolet light, we can make out, in terms of technique, the different types of white in the compositions, whether it be the primer or layers of color. With regard to the alterations, painting, chromatic additions, varnishes, and wax resin in the restoration become apparent. We have also managed to reveal different restorations carried out of the work, retouching, repainting, etc. In the radiographic study of Picasso's technique, we can see the characteristics of the quarant stretcher comprising 20 stretcher bars, the metallic tensioning system, affixing the fabric to the stretcher using tacks. Details of the support, the fabric's width, thread, horizontal strips to apply the primer. In terms of the alterations, we can note tears to the fabric, damages to the edges and angles, areas with an absence of priming and stucco, reinforcement strips, patches. In infrared, we can see the middle or initial layers of the painting. Dora Mar's photographs housed in the Museo Reina Sofia collection thankfully show the different stages of composition and using these images as a reference has enabled us to identify with color the different composition scenes in the photo. The triangular structural and compositional lines can also be appreciated. For instance, the lamp light splitting the right hand side of the painting in two, the horse's head, the dress pleats in the area of the dead soldier's head, to give a few salient examples. Different chemical analyses were also conducted. The system's most notably used were optical microscopy, electronic microscopy, X-ray fluorescence, X-ray diffraction, FTIR. As you can see, the study to gain an idea of the state of the work has been both complex and in-depth, and it's the outcome of a joint work between many professionals from different backgrounds. The result can be seen in phase four of the project in the Rethinking Guernica website, which, thanks to the gigapixel technology we have been using, has been made available to the public with a series of Zoom tools, comparisons, and a map of alterations to understand and appreciate Picasso's work further.